So I've gotten a ton of requests for my tutorial on how I burned the edges of my Devil Runs piece. You guys thought I was absolutely crazy for setting fire to it, but then you got all crazy about it and couldn't get enough of it. So I am here to show you how I achieved this. All right. Um, well ventilated area. I'm at my cooking stove right now and I have a big vent above me, um, which I will turn on. Um, good lighting. Let's see, scissors. I just use a click clicker to get the fire. Um, you're gonna look like you're gonna be making meth or smoking it. Um, piece of foil just so it doesn't dirty your stove top and then when you do go to set the piece down to put out the fire it's on the aluminum now I say fire it's not going to be this huge you know thing of fire it won't get that way um, and then something to put the fire out a Paper towel is fine. Again, it's not gonna get crazy out of control. Um, so let me, okay, get what you need and then out. Okay, so um, I didn't have any pieces small enough to show this so I quickly stitched up, oh my God, Little Devil. This is from Fox and Jekyll. Um, I will link it down below. I love how cute it is for color. So I stitched this up. Get what you need and get out. No, or I'm gonna send you to your room. Um, so I just stitched up super quick to show you. I'm not going to frame it, but I did find um, this cute little easel picture frame that attached with a little clip. And I think that's how I'm going to display anything really small um, or nothing that I'm really certain about how to finally, to final frame it. So here is my little devil. Dino? Is that what I ended up calling him? I think it's Dino, because you know I have to name everything Italian. Um, so, my little devil, and I think it's only fitting that I burn him. So, figure out how much space you want to leave. Um, and then, obviously, I'm not going to sit here and start the fire and then have it have to burn all of this way. So take your scissors, people, you can do this. Take your scissors and cut um, the excess off. Um, I'm thinking I want quite a bit of fabric still left. Um, and again, it doesn't, the thing about burning, it doesn't need to be, when you cut it, it doesn't need to be a perfect square. Um, because you're going to burn it, so the shape of the edge is going to be determined by how much you're going to put the thing on fire. So, alright, so... I'm going to start off with this. It's okay, people. Breathe. Um, so there he is. Now, bless you. You have your foil down. You got your starter and something. You don't need to get it wet. It's okay. It's all good. You could even use your hand. I don't really care. Um, all right see because these those pendant lights so let me show you guys 
Now it takes a second. Um, when I did my devil's piece, it did take a second for the fabric to catch on fire. Um, and it smelled bad, so you could do it outside, um, or just do it in your house and have your vent on. Um, I have a feeling some of you guys are like clutching your pearls over this. So here I am. You can set as much of it on fire as you want, or as little. Um, but it kind of just puts itself out. Let me see if I can do it. It kind of just puts itself out. And you can see it's smoking. This one doesn't smell that bad. Now, well, nope, never mind. Let's not have. All right. So you can see it's still burning and it has, you can see some of the fibers still left, which I left some of those on my Devil Runs piece and I loved how that looked. Um, they're super fragile, so you have to be careful with them because otherwise you'll just knock them off. Um, you can't really blow them. See, they're just, one just went. Um, but this is where you could just use the tip of it and put it down and put the ember out. And then look, if I went and framed it in like a floating frame or not, you would still have some of that to be seen. Um, I'm not going to want any of that because I'll be just clipping it on here. Um, but if it was framed, I would keep some of the black just for some some visual interest. So I'm going to knock that off, paper towel, and it comes right off. And there you go. It leaves some of the black around it and you just keep going. Let out your inner pyro. Um, I also um, ironed this because I wanted it to be flat and no hoop marks. Um, so make sure don't spray on any of that quilter stuff because I would be afraid that if you would then set fire it would just go whoosh. Um, so keep that in mind. Try to let out. So there, there's a little more. It's still burning down. Um, Maybe if I'm really good on this, we'll see the hot firefighters show up at my house. There's some more. And I just let it go. But see, it, it puts itself out. So it's not like you're dealing with this uncontrollable, hey, I'm gonna set it down. Blot it and put itself out. It's easier. So you just rub it and it'll come out. Now I can see because it goes black can get some of um, the burnt discoloration. Um, I think that's kind of cool. It kind of just ages the fabric. I like this, that you can see the dark. Um, and it gives, you can see some of the fibers there. So let's keep going. 
If you don't have one of these clickers, I got mine at the dollar store, so they're super cheap. My Devil Runs piece, I used it all and I just ended up putting this, I just put the stove on. Use whatever works. So see, it's already out on that one. We're gonna have to wait. I told you to give me a second. Like people, like, hey, I said wait till I'm done. Kid break, hold on. All right, bring it here. So it's gonna still burn if you set it down. finish it up um, and then I'll come back to you guys oh man I should have kept the camera going I had a almost have the whole thing go up um, so this is where I'm gonna leave it um, now because you put the flame out with the paper towel you're gonna have some of the black on the paper towel. This I did to give some of the dirt and black on fabric. Um, so just make sure it's going to go onto your hands. Um, and then if there's any little pieces left on the back, remember those are going to see that one just made a smear there. Um, so yeah, there is My little my finish I think that's where I'm gonna leave it I made sure to leave a little extra up at the top for the clip so let me show you the flowers don't really go but it'll be good for the time being so there there you have it my little finish and again you can let it burn as much as you want as little as you want um, I like here that I left some of the burnt fibers you can see them um, and I want to say I had this little one this little mishap I was lighting it from underneath the fabric whereas I was just doing the edges so to get this, um, I went, I think that was my mistake. I went from underneath and then it got really, I had a big flame. Um, I should have just kept it going. But yeah, there is uh, my little devil. And if you guys have any questions about this tutorial, just let me know and I will get back to you. Don't be afraid to let your stuff on fire. All right, guys, bye.